hello guys welcome to my youtube channel ui ninja so in this video i am going to discuss about the css box model so what is css box model when a browser display your html elements each element is displayed in a web page consists of one or more than one rectangular box css is then applied to the box to style the html element the css box model is a container that contains multiple properties like border margin padding and content it is used to create the design and layout of web page this is a standard practice for designing web pages in css the term box model is used when talking about design and layout the box model allows us to add a border around the elements and to define space between the elements so this is how the box model actually looks like we will see the implementation in upcoming example the box model refers to the box layout of each html element each box consists of the following Con first is content so what is content content is a actual content like text image of html element next is padding padding is space in between the border and content of an element next is border border surrounds the padding and content of an element next is margin area between the boundary and the edge of the border is known as margin so the margin and padding properties allow us to customize the position of the content for our html element in addition the margin padding of each edge can be different so we have different values for the margin and padding of each edge if you want to add margin or padding for a specific edge so we can use the following css property names so if you adjust the margin like top margin left margin bottom margin right margin so we use this properties and if you want to change the padding adjust the padding so we use padding top padding left padding bottom padding right so margin is a shorthand property margin are used to create space around the elements outside of any defined border if you want to short the code it is possible to specify all the margin property in one property the margin property is the shorthand property for the following individual margin properties like margin top margin right margin bottom and margin left so how it works if you want to reduce the quotes so if you add margin in one line so we use the margin property shorthand property so first we create margin property and uh, 25 is the top margin 50 px is a right margin 75 px is a bottom margin and 100 px is a left margin we can add all the values of top right bottom left margin in one line so that's why we can reduce the code next is padding property padding is used to create space around an element content inside of any defined border the padding property is also shorthand property for the following individual padding properties like padding top padding right padding bottom padding left so how it works if the padding property has four values and we can adjust in one line to reduce the code so we use padding property first and first we add the top padding like 25 px and 50 px is a right padding 75 px is a bottom padding and 100 px is a left padding so here is a example first we create the one selector like div in between that we add padding all types of padding like top right bottom left in one line so we can take one example open the sublime text editor first and start code we can add multiple selectors in style tag 
so we can create class selector first in between that we add some formatting properties for content like font size that is 30 px and next is font weight that is bold and next we add text align center center or left as you wish and next we add color red then we create another selector like 2 is a class selector in between that we add margin to space around the elements next we add border to give the border of your content it is also a shorthand property here first we add the width then border style is solid next is color border color and we add width of the box 300 px next it's to adjust the height of the box so we add height attribute next we create a next selector like 3 is another selector here we add phone size that is 50 px and next we add phone weight all the properties are used for content in the box model like bold and uh, we add color that is red here we add the margin top like 30 px next we add background color of the content like light blue we can create another selector like phone size next we add another property font weight all the font size font weight are used for content and next property is background color that is also red we make four selectors so we can add HTML element in the body section we create dev in here we use the class 1 and add some content like CSS box model and close this div next we create another div here we use the class 2 in between that we add another div and add class 3 add some content like your images and close this div 
here we add another div classes 4 we use class 4 and add some content like web designing and close this div and save this file and see the result on the browser window this diagram shows the box model we can adjust padding also margin also so go to the code and add some padding here we add padding like 70 px and save this file and see the result on the browser window this adjusts the padding so thank you if you like this video so please like share and comment